Welcome everybody to another podcast of Life Talk. Oh my goodness, this podcast has been long anticipated on. We've been trying uh, to meet with uh, the one and only, the European kid. First of all, I want to introduce my uh, co-host, Adam from Chansa. Oh, oh sorry. From, from, my from Chansa? Yeah. No, I mean... Chansa. Oh, God. <laughs> Get plugs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'm very happy that, you know, uh, you're here today to uh, uh, help me interview the one and only legend, the European kid. He's here with us today. And uh, yeah, I want to welcome him. Uh, we've been um, in touch for a while now and uh, some of my friends have been dealing with him. So we had to interview him and you had been requesting it. The European kid, welcome and thank you for being on the show. Cool, so bonjour les gars, it's a pleasure to, uh, to be here yeah. and uh, excited to, uh, yeah, to, excited to do the podcast and uh, yeah, of course, I mean, it's it's always out, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of people constantly DMing me, but uh, we've been in contact, so um, I'm glad we can uh, make this happen. You seem like a busy guy, must be quite a busy guy. I definitely guy. am a busy guy, mm-hmm. I've got a lot on my plate all the time in terms yeah. of business, uh, the TikToks and the social media stuff going on. I've got a pretty uh, hectic, um, hectic full plate all the time. So, so we're quite so, yeah, fortunate. It's, I'm not an easy person to get on a on a phone call. That's that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and uh, so you are, uh, like rich kid. You are rich. You are, uh, you know, you have a rich daddy. Can you talk a little bit about that? I have a rich daddy. Yeah, is that, is that what it's called nowadays? <laughs> um, guys, I mean, I, I never go around telling people that I'm rich. I just, I'm, I'm good, well off, you know. <clears throat> um, the truth is that uh, I would never, you don't, rich people don't go around telling people they're rich or else they're not rich. That's the truth. Uh huh. Oh, really? Is it? I mean, yes. I mean, look, with that in mind, I mean, how rich are you? I mean, to be honest, it's none of your business. Uh, oh. it's, it's, this is a uh, private uh, uh, but uh, pretty but, uh, rich. Uh, Let's just uh, say that. I mean, rich enough to. Uh, well, enjoy. also, I, f- I think you know he, his dad can can buy the entire studio right here. I mean, and 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 some, I've seen some of the videos, and um, I've been quite overwhelmed. I I also had a, a colleague of mine. I think he was in New York. He contacted me. He was in a real estate deal with you. And uh, he he said Ooh, that uh, uh, it wasn't real in, in New York, and uh, we partners in real estate. You were in the office, and um, uh, apparently you were about to do a deal there, and it had to go through some kind of uh, some kind of board. Uh, I wanted to hear your side of the story as well. Can can you tell us a little bit about what happened in that room? For those listening, you might have seen the video around the table, and uh, it, it got a little heated. Yes, it got to this for sure. Yeah. Listen, when when someone okay, I I go to America okay, and someone tells me that uh, I, I I don't belong in that table okay, where we're buying the United States in New York. Yeah, I'm not going to react nicely. <laughs> I went to the the meeting okay, just because I'm a young guy, doesn't mean you should not respect me. Okay, I manage a huge fund, huge amount of wealth, not a fund, but a huge amount of wealth, mm. family wealth. Yeah, so I demand respect. I wanted to buy this apartment, okay? And they were telling me, oh, oh you need to go get the proof as a, because it's a co-op. I, je m'en fous, I don't give a shit. You know, I I want to go in there and I want to buy it. Uh, don't ask me for proof of funds. Yeah, yeah. This is ridiculous. I mean, did I... This is, this is a problem in America. Yeah. Um, I mean, they don't I can understand see the some... European culture. Yeah, I mean, it did... I... It's almost insulting, I would say. It's insul- for a man of your integrity it's, as well. Exactly, it's very insulting. It's very insulting. But I mean, did 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 like, you don't provide them proof of funds? Did was that? Did you actually provide All the proof? The, what they have to do is just look at my name, and then they know. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit ba- very basic uh, proof uh, of. Just look me up. In I'm effect, they didn't do their due diligence. To my accountant. Yeah. Yeah. They, they didn't really do, do their due diligence, diligence on did their they? Side. Okay. I'm not going to be showing around uh, my 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 um, my bank statements in the Cayman Islands. That's not none of your business, you know. Yeah, it's none yeah. of your business. If I want to buy an apartment, show me the bloody apartment and I buy it. It's very simple. Yeah. 
So they were not understanding that. But sound, they sound so quite unprofessional, off. really. Uh, unprofessional, it's I would very say. Unprofessional. Mm. I mean, they should have done their due diligence before and found out exactly, exactly. who you were. American, and... you're idiots. What do you expect? What do you expect, you know? You saw, you saw the video, right? It yep. got, it got uh, almost like physical and uh, uh, all over this deal. Yeah, no, yeah. I saw it. Yeah, it was, um, I, I'll be honest. I was yeah. ready to knock the guy out. Yeah, I, I could I was see ready that. To come down, like boom. I mean, I've seen that. Yeah, I was bigger than guys before. The guy was stopped. And... Stopped. I was told. He was worried. He was like, "Oh, oh, oh please sit down." Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I, was I like, saw that. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Idiot, idiot, American. Well, he's. Uh, you know, I think. And... Th I think what you've gauged from there is. Is real estate in America is probably. Well, how do I put it? It's it, it's it's not for you there. I mean, maybe maybe it'd be better if you had a French person that was big in real estate in New York, and they were, they were actually selling you because they would you you could command the sort of respect you deserve. To be honest, Thank you. exactly. Business with Americans is uh, it's not easy. It's not easy, and. Um, yeah, it's very simple. I just want to buy something, but they give me the whole process of signing bullshit. And I'm like, come on, uh, this is not what I signed up for. I I, no. I I came to you because I want to buy the apartment. I don't want to have yeah. to go to another five meetings uh, to talk about if I'm eligible or and this kind of bullshit. I'm, I'm is not. I don't have time for this. Okay, I'm studying. I have my fa my my family business to also run and. So and I have business to do. Don't don't bullshit me, you know. Don't bullshit me with the. Um, but time is money. The preliminary. Time is money. Time, time Sorry? is money. Yes, yes. Uh... Time is money. Yeah. yeah. Especially Louis' time. It's <laughs> very valuable. I, I can you. imagine. I can you imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously. So, so uh, we we, we want to like tap into this American culture for a little bit here. Uh, because there is quite a, I mean, we, we have so much culture in Europe. Uh, there is no doubt about that. So how was your time? We definitely in, do, guys. Yeah, how was your time in, in the U.S.? I mean, from what I've seen, you had an incredibly difficult time. Uh, I'm even surprised you graduated. I just got in a lot of fights, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm European. I go there and I'm just like... I think it was all this bullshit. I'm just like, what the hell is this culture? It's just ridiculous. Um, you should have seen the fights I got with my professors. That stuff was heated, huh? And I knew Your I could professors? not knock that professor out. Well, oh, God. God. Yes, mean... of course. Oh, I would uh, get, sometimes, like, sometimes they think they're the best. Like, <laughs> the, the American professors, they get on my nerves. I cannot mm. stand them, you know? Yeah. And it, they don't take the money there. I, I, I try to get them a little envelope uh, with in the end of the class like come on I know I missed some assignments but please give me a break of you course. know I had to go back to Europe to do some family yeah and they were always like oh this uh, professional we don't, do not do this like this I'm like come on come on yeah. you and me you don't get paid enough yeah exactly. I get paid what you get paid my papa sends me what you get paid in a year in a month that's my spending <laughs> money yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and they're like no this is I asked also, I had a professor, she's pretty hot, you know, and I wanted to go for yeah. a drink with her. I mean, I how, old her, was she? how old was she? Just, just there. She was um, 35 to 40, yeah. something. Oh. Okay, that's, that's probably quite like, young for a professor, isn't it? Yeah, so, so. I mean, yeah, Usually I the, the people, they flirt with me, you know, I'm not used to the idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell yeah, her, yeah. look, yeah. to be at this bar, I would love to send you my driver to pick you up. And she tells me, that's super inappropriate. Like, why is this not appropriate? Well, no one has to know. Just keep it between us two, you know. But well, uh, and your insisted. driver, mm. my driver. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. just keep it between you two and your and your driver. He's the only one. Exactly. That's why it's in the driver, so no one will see her, and we have a private spot in the mm. in the in the bar to have a drink. But she was uh, saying, you know, I've never done this with a student, and she was threatening uh, that uh, I would get. Um, I would get a, a letter from the dean, uh, so I was like, "Okay, relax, you know." It's just Americans; they get, they take everything to. They're oh, so sensitive. Goodness. Oh goodness! Oh, oh my God! This is so true. I see Europeans were straightforward. Yeah. You know what? We tell people things. Okay, I want a better grade. I will give yeah. you some money. Yeah. Take it. No one has to. 
oh, this is not the procedure, or this is not how we do no. it, things are... I don't care how you do things around here. I'm from Europe, okay? I'm the ref. Exactly. Yeah. And if you don't like that, go crack someone else. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Don't, don't give me the sensitive... They almost sound, it uh, almost sounds you know? unreasonable. They sound unreasonable. Well, hypersensitive, bro. Like, they're so, like, sensitive about everything, so man. Sensitive. Yeah. I mean, you're, 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 going you know, on that. Like, you're, you're talking about giving them in one, in one sitting the same amount of money that they would get for a whole year. And, and, and they're ungrateful exactly. for it? <laughs> they're they ungrateful. I'm like, come on. Just take huh? the money. Like, no. people would die yeah, of this yeah, opportunity, yeah. yeah? So when you dated that professor, did anything happen? I'm... Like, did, did you did you go, go down on her? Or like, what happened? <laughs> I have to be a bit careful now because I don't know what uh, the implications I mean, you are, of this you already be, got but, your, uh... You graduated already, so you should... You won't be getting any letter from the dean now. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're good. You got your diploma. Yeah. That's true. You can, you can, you can, true. You, can um, <laughs> you can tell us the gory <laughs> details. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely flirted. Uh, it's a while okay, ago yeah, yeah. before uh, the the time blew up uh, on social media. Mm. But um, I was flirted with uh, some. She was Brazilian. Oh, oh, she was Brazilian, actually. Oh, yeah, 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 very nice. A dangerous, dangerous, yeah. Yeah, he, he knows. Exactly. He has exactly. experience. So she was not American. If she was American, I would not even want to slide in there, to be honest. Oh, uh... <laughs> well, too sensitive. It's too easy with America. Oh, really? It's too easy. Yeah. Yes, yes. Way too easy. Wait, too easy? Too easy? What? It's like, you guys? Yeah. What? Give you mean they're too, too guys, loose? You're from Europe. Get it. Give us some you examples. You say that you're from Europe. Yeah. Okay, they come running to you. And if you tell them you're rich also, they're going to be obsessed with you. Huh? Yeah. It's too easy. I mean, you're cool. handsome. You're a good looking well, guy. It. So you're obviously, I mean, you have looks on I your side. It. You have money. The body, skin. You got it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I've and... got that summer house in Central Pilier. Of Greece, course. Greece, you know, mm -hmm. like, yeah. You've got a lot to offer on the table. A lot of value to bring yeah. to a woman. Um, yeah. And I had, with the Brazilian, I... how did you get on with the Brazilian? I just uh, spoke to him. Um, you know, I know some Portuguese. You're yeah. called un poco de Portuguese. I would just no, use I, my I little know about Brazilian American uh, women. Like, oh, like I dated a quite. I, I I'm gonna be honest. I dated American girls. I lived one and a half years in New York, Upper West Side. I had my fair share. Okay, nice. Oh, Midwest Southern, like a uh, girl from LA. Very different American girls. So I want to like tap into this for a little bit, like, uh, <laughs> and for all the American women listening, like, let's pay attention right here. What was your experience like when you say too easy? You mean they're too aggressive, like or too loose? It means they're too easy. A girl, okay. <laughs> the, what makes me about getting a girl is that yeah. she plays hard to get. American girls, it's a snap, a finger snap, you know, and you got them. They're into you. They're opening their legs. I'm sorry, but it's too easy. Wow, it's too easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no game. There's yeah. no, there's no like I've, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm go catch her. It's too easy. So, so let me. Let me so just, that's why I don't like this. Let me just try and break it down. So, what is your what is your play? You go in there. There's an American girl there. Is there any play, or is it just easy? I mean, what is what is your go to? You know, if if you want to impress a girl, how do you go about it, an American girl? I just. Uh, you guys, it's it's so easy. I mean, it's you just buy her a drink, yeah, and then she's got your attention, okay. And, and look, I'm not gonna speak on behalf of me because now I have oh, a girlfriend, oh, oh, oh. so I can. It, she, I don't. I want to yeah. be respectful, but I would say, considering my other friends, my other European friends, because I've got a lot yeah. of European friends in in when I was living in Boston. Guys, you literally, yeah, you buy her a drink. She she's got your attention, and. As soon as you tell her you're European, you're foreign, she's like, mm. oh, you're exotic. Uh, oh, it's so odd. Yeah, yeah. And you can do whatever you want. You could say, oh, you want to come back to my place? She will come running. Yeah. It's that easy. Uh, I'm saying in that, it's, everyone thinks it's a stereotype, but American girls yeah. are the easiest ones to hook up with mm. compared to European girls. Oh, would you say? Last European girl? Yeah. Different case. Would you say that? Would you say it's 
let's let's talk about the average guy. I'm talking about the average guy that earns fifty, sixty thousand dollars or sixty say sixty thousand euros a year. Is he getting the same access that you would get? That average or is that poor? <laughs> I I mean statistically I think it's one of the averages I don't know I mean yeah it's like it's like fifty grand I think that's thousand sixty thousand per yeah. year yeah it's a little bit okay yeah no that's per year yeah, yeah. so that's you know <laughs> roughly four thousand euros per month? month per month yeah four thousand euros per month what? sixty thousand per month hey eh? no a no, year we're talking year. 50k per year is the average yeah yeah for 4,000 euros yeah. a month yeah the, not yeah. per month no no yeah yeah no no 50,000 per month no for, for 4,000 euros per month that's minimum wage <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's I mean it, it, I mean that I, I should imagine I've seen some of your videos that's 50,000 is a is a weekend in Mykonos right it's a uh, it's you know it's a Scorpios it's whatever it has yes <laughs> yes it has been a weekend fifty thousand it's a pretty tough conversation to have with mm. Papa but it has happened yes. let's touch on your co- we, we should touch yeah, on his relationship with his father um it yeah I don't know I had a very I don't know about you just say I'm very lucky I had a very good relationship with my father um very much so that if I did maybe talk to him how I've seen you possibly talk to your father. I would have been reprimanded, if you like. I would have been, um, I would have been hold off. I think, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying I, I know the relationship with your father and, and, and you. I don't. I can only go on what I've seen. But can you explain that, that dynamic? Of course. Um, look, I'm a dramatic, passionate person. When I want something, I mm. get it, okay? Yeah. And yes. Okay. I've overreacted in the past. Okay. I, I get. I'm short tempered, as my mother says. Um, but it's just that I just get when I want something. I would make an effort to get it, and I would get. I would get heated in the moment, but it stays in the moment. Okay. And um, I regret the way that I act sometimes with my family, but I don't regret the way that I act with Americans. You know, like the part of business meeting with the real estate agents. It's um. I could care less if I if I hit someone in the face out of anger because it's it's purely their fault. Yeah. So yes. Well, of course it isn't. Yes, I have people say I have anger management issues. Uh-huh. I think I'm just European. That's what I tell people. You know, I, I go to America, I get pissed at someone. I tell them, don't take it personally. I'm just I'm European. Okay, I'm dramatic. Uh, mm. Well, the kings of drama is like that. Yeah, I, nothing. I'm, nothing more. I mean, yeah. I, for me, seeing some of them videos, I would say personally, I'm European. I'm obviously British, so it's a different. So I'm not European in the EU anymore, anyway. But I obviously I, I see. Look, let's say your Frenchness comes out quite a lot, um, and sometimes My I feel for you. Out. I like... I'll be honest. I feel for you sometimes for these the people you're dealing with sometimes. Right? Yeah. But... Yes. Incompetent people. I will only get frustrated when it's an incompetent person or yeah. something very unreasonable. Yeah. Like needing money. Okay, when I call my papa and I want some money in the US, it's because the US is expensive. Okay. Yeah. In Europe, people get paid 500 euros, something like this, mm-hmm. and they live. Okay, you can maybe survive. But in America, things are expensive. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. want to go to Miami and have a good time, you need at least a couple, couple of Ks to play around with. Of course. You want it's to... an experimentation. I want to go, go to here. I want to try this. No. So it's just... C'est la vie. <laughs> yeah. It's just expensive. I need, I, need, I need the money. I need to, I need to eat. Huh? I need to eat. You How am I supposed to eat? But, but what, you need to eat to good eat? restaurants as well. It's your health, yeah. isn't it? It's your health. And... Exactly. Exactly. This so, European body. How do you? How do you? Uh, you also complain about the air quality. You complained about the the culture, um, and 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 the lifestyle there. And then, how do you maintain your your like skin the way it is, your your body the way it is? Mm-hmm. How do you keep your routines in a place that is so toxic? Yeah, it's a good question. It's a good question. It's art. 
it's half being Louis. First of all, um, yes, you need to have a European routine. When you're surrounded by Americans, uh -huh. easy to get fat. Yeah. It's easy to uh, <laughs> make sense of consumerism, <laughs> buying with stupid shit all the time. Yeah. So, uh, you know, as I bring my, my skin, I bring all the European products that I know, the real, <laughs> the good stuff of the American bullshit, just it's, marketing It's, it's stuff. heritage, I suppose, heritage stuff, you know, years of heritage. Like, shit, we're going to get so much hate on this shit. <laughs> I, it's it's well being honest. Yeah, I think no, I people think, appreciate yeah, yeah, honesty. Yeah. I think I think so. Um, I mean, so yeah, and no butter. No, no I butter. Bring, I, uh, we just extra virgin and kind of butter. I will use olive oil. Yes, yes, Greek olive extra oil. Extra virgin is the best one. Extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. Yes, extra virgin olive oil. No, it's, <laughs> uh, you know what? I from meeting you. Like this, I mean, obviously I've seen some of your antics where you go crazy. I have, I have seen them and they made me laugh. Mm. Uh, I could see sometimes see some of myself when I was four or five years old, how I would be. Um, but maybe that's my, my downfall for getting older, you know? I and mean, it seems like you, you're still letting these, don't take this offensively, immature emotions get on top of you. Would you, would you say that's a fair comment? I don't think it depends. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't, at the end of the day, I don't care. If I over, if I'm overreact, okay, it's not, I don't care how you feel. I tell people, if I get pissed in American, okay, go cry about it to someone else. I don't want to hear your bullshit. And yeah, call me immature, but I think I'm pretty reasonable. And yeah, it's very simple. I mean, I act the way that most Europeans do, I imagine. So. Okay, but you know, have to about a lot of the I things he says, he's not, he's not wrong. You know, he he talks about like uh, the the the, the food not. and the obesity and the diabetes. Yeah, and and not to say that all Americans are like that, but I think uh, you know a fair amount is a majority. Um, <laughs> bunch. Some of the stuff that's in the food, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so when he says uh, use olive oil <laughs> instead of butter. I think that, that that's a good thing. I think you're learning. That, yeah. You know? yes. I, I, I suppose you could look at yourself I'm as a... I'm teaching the American people. Well, that's it. I'm yeah. teaching a them. A lot of people hate their... You know, they don't like their professors. So they don't like their tutors because they don't like hearing the truth. So is that kind of what I think... I mean, you're emotional because you're telling them the truth? Pretty much. Yes. I think the truth hurts. You know, when yeah. the reason why most Americans are fat is because they're... They're in, they're, what goes into our body is toxic. And yeah. I can see that because I grew up in Europe where all the food I ate was is not processed crap. Okay, it's grown organically <laughs> um, and I have little farms where the food comes. Yeah, And Americans, they just consume the cheapest bullshit and then they complain about being fat. I tell them it's because you're eating processed stuff. Okay. I mean, what, 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 what's, a, what's a typical Sunday afternoon for you eating, you know, which, you know, just a typical, just throw some food together. What, what, what is it you would eat? In Europe or in America? In, in, in Europe. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that you take some of your European class to America, obviously, that you would, you would try and follow suit about what you're what? eating. But what would be, what would be, Louise, just, just throwing together on a Sunday? You just want to throw together a meal. What sort of thing in the, in the everything that you would eat? I would eat uh, eggs from my my farm. Yeah, you know yeah. I have a, a a farm that they raise eggs for me. It's the best eggs you'll ever eat in your life. Right, okay. Um, I raise them in Portugal, and then I get them sent over to, I'll get them sent over to Belgium or Greece, depending on where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I omelette with fresh a fresh tomato. The Americans they've never eaten a fresh tomato mm -hmm. in their life. Mm -hmm. They eat this bullshit that's GMO. The, there's a bunch of chemicals in it. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not real. You don't have to spray some of this. It's just. It's toxic. I'm telling you, it's very toxic. And so you, um, you're saying you, you get some an, eggs. Uh, you get your eggs made and then fly them what, two thousand miles up to, to Belgium, um, which is reasonable, yeah. right? So, you get them back because they're fresh. They're yeah. fresh, so they're there within a day. Farm, farm to fresh. mouth, if you I like. I tell everyone, meet fresh stuff. Yeah. I don't want it to be... 
and I want if the as soon as it comes out of the uh, the chicken, you yeah. take it. Okay, and you send it straight to me. I want it as fresh as possible. You can't find I mean, that in America. I mean, do you do you, do you ever go shopping yourself? Is shopping something you do, or, or... I mean, would you know the price of eggs in a in a supermarket? I have no idea to be honest. No, I have no idea what the price of the eggs are. No, no, I mean, can you have a guess? Maybe have a guess. What? Maybe just have a guess. Six eggs. One egg? Six One eggs. Or... Yeah. 20 euros. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. yeah. 20, yeah. That's crazy. 25. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, mm. infl inflation around. is it's real. Um, inflation. Inflation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I think you're, I mean, you're not far away. Yeah. But, um, yeah, six eggs first. Well, 20. we're getting there. I, su I suppose if you were flying those eggs from <laughs> Portugal, uh, they could probably go through, through, through 20 euros. Yeah. So I, I want to uh, talk about something that's important, and a lot of listeners are going to love this, which is fashion. I want to tap it because because you're, you're you're very you know we talk a lot about fashion as well, and uh, look at mm -hmm. is, is that uh, we got Perrier, Perrier, the, the sparkling water. Very oh. oh yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Perfect. Yeah, that's the right one. Yeah. Um. So, so the fashion. You know, you've been in America. What was your opinion about the fashion there, and how does it compare to the fashion in Europe? So yeah, guys, I would go to my uh, my classes uh, on campus, and I would be shocked every day. Americans, they just don't make no effort. They will no. just go on the first thing they see. And I can tell, sometimes I think they haven't even changed. I think they're sleeping in their pajamas. <laughs> because they just put up in sweatpants. Yeah. The rose wearing sneakers. Uh, are you going to go work out after this? You're going to go for a run? Did you run here? Like, come on. Why are you wearing sneakers? Take that shoes off and put a proper shoe on. There's a, a right moment to wear sneakers. Not when you're coming to class. And then they're wearing some cheap, uh, some just... The colors don't match. It's just uh, they I mean, look like you, a mess. What do you think of some of their their suits they wear? Do you think the the you know? Do you think they're tailored like the, like? I'm sure you yeah. have many and many, 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 many a, tailored a lot of suits. Americans are fat. <laughs> no, wait, this is like, they're, they're oversized. They're oversized. They're, I, I, I don't understand that. They're so like baggy. It's not for the not for the discerning gentleman, are they? They're not. They're um. You know, it's like, not, and as a British person, you know that it's just. It's just I know. Uh, I, I like a suit. Yes, uh, I like a suit that fits. I'm not saying all Americans don't, but they uh, they tend to be the standard one. Some tend yeah. to be a, a little bit on the bigger side. And I know, from a you know a, a gentleman like yourself, that would be something you would pick yeah. up on, right? I mean, I, I suppose you pick up on that if you're sure. having dinner. Let's say you're having dinner opposite a man, and you come, you spent your time, Louis's time. Coming out for dinner, he's picked a terrible restaurant and he's sitting opposite you wearing an oversized suit. I mean, that must get you angry, no? It's disgusting, to be honest. Yes. I don't go for dinners with American people because I would never even trust <laughs> their, uh, their recommendations for a restaurant, honestly. I'm like, no way I'm going for a dinner with an American. Probably take me to Chick-fil-A or uh, McDonald's and be like, <laughs> Is that right? not, Is that I'm not right? doing that. <laughs> You're getting suckered into that. No, fair enough. It's fair enough. Mm -hmm. I, I've got a couple of questions I wanted to ask. Uh, just, uh, I mean, look, if you could be any fictional character for a day, who would you choose and why? Fictional character. <clears throat> um, I would be um, Aladdin. Who? Aladdin. Aladdin. Who's Aladdin? Aladdin. You know the, the carpet. Oh, the guy. The, the guy. Yeah. Aladdin. Oh, Aladdin. Aladdin. <laughs> he just wants a wish. He goes around, and the wish is fulfilled. Okay. I so, just like. So he, he exactly a little. I mean, that's not too far from from you, Louis. Though you want something, you get it. I mean, is that exactly? Is that is, that, is there a little bit of Aladdin you? And Aladdin in me? Oh, yeah. uh, yes, I guess. Uh, <laughs> To a certain extent, there is, <laughs> because I just liked my wishes being fulfilled. 
Yeah. But I want something to happen as soon as possible. So that's yeah. why I like Aladdin. He has this little uh, magic um, thing that he carries around. Yeah. And um, when he wants a wish, he tells him. The, the genie makes, grants him the wish. I want it like this. I don't have to pick up my phone and call my papa and ask him for more money. I just want to say it in a a little uh, the little metal thing that he carries and the wish little, comes true. Like a little genie pot. Just give it a rub and then you get what you want. How, exactly, how are you dealing, exactly, uh, Louis, with all the fame? It's oh. a good question. <laughs> I mean, um, I didn't realize how viral I was until I came back to the US after my... Um, my fun times in Europe, uh, when I, I went outside to go eat, um, at, um, this healthy, this nice, healthy restaurant. And, um, I had a bunch of fans starting to come up to me and eventually the whole restaurant just was staring at me. I was by myself eating and I was like, holy shit, uh, this, uh, this stuff that I'm doing is going viral and, uh, people are getting, yeah, people, people are spotting me. Uh, but it's nice. I like it. I mean, it gives you me have, a, you have security. You have like, like how, how does a day look like for you? I mean, uh, it's so after I went viral last year, okay, in the summer, I came back to campus and, and I would go to my classes and I would always have, I would take photos with fans on campus. And, um, I think, uh, my, back. Give some of back. my yeah. selves even, sorry. You're giving back, you you know, you, 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 you with the kind yes. of class that you have, you don't, it's fame, fame doesn't bother you, does it? Oh, it's not. And I saw no, you on the security was, team, right? Is that true? Yes, sometimes I carry security, but that's m more for if I'm wearing an expensive watch or uh, I don't want to be bothered if I'm with a girl, I'll take security, but I'm a pretty humble man. I can't, I consider myself very humble. Um, oh, yeah, I really definitely. try not to show up. So, um, yes, I try not to carry too much security around because, uh, it's. I mean, how many securities? Not many. How many do you have? That's, you know, not many. In America, very little because it's a pretty safe place. Well, sometimes yeah. it's, that's not all the, there's a lot of people yeah. with crazy ideas in America. Yeah. So to a cer certain extent, you're not going to get kidnapped, but, um, if I go to Mexico, I get security guards to come with yeah. me, stuff, stuff like that. But, um. Uh, two, I was in Mykonos, I, I went to Scorpius yeah. one night, I had brought huge security guards with me. Just two, just... Gary. Uh, oh, okay. the old, uh, yeah, yeah, I get you. Illegal. I get you, Illegal. yeah. Just say no Miss more. this mafia guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, you yeah. can't say his name right now, no? You can't say it. Security guard. I will not say his name, <laughs> because I like it, I'm going to use it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough. That's fair enough. I'm going to ask you one more question as well. I mean, this Dogs. might, this actually might be something that because of of your time in America and obviously studying over there. But what was the weirdest food combination you've ever tried, and did you like it? Okay, let me think. So I, I'm trying to think. Um, I think the thing that was the most shocking for me because first year, the first the first year that you do in the US. You have to eat on the the dining hall, which is the place where uh, the students eat on campus, because you have to live on campus. And I've never been so uh, appalled by the food that I had to right. eat there, because it's just the lowest quality. Every time I would go there for, I would just go for breakfast and I just want to get a coffee. Yeah. And I would see Americans eating pizza in the lawn, pizza, hot dogs, um, fried everything. Yeah. The random fried shit, it was just crazy. So I'm I never ate it because I knew a guy like me, six packs. Why would you want to eat this bullshit and look like this American fat, uh, fat yeah. people? I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that. So I I ate a, a what was it? A fried cornbread once fried because cornbread. I lost a bet. You lost a bet. Well, yes, and you. Must have been awful. It was just disgusting. Uh, I mean, sometimes you got to be thick. I mean, it was dramatic. It was dramatic. I mean, look, it, I'm not going to point out the obvious question here. I mean, but there's, I mean, what, what isn't a, um, a seasoned, astute guy like yourself 
Uh, obviously a well-rounded guy, uh, emotionally stable guy, uh, affluent guy. Mm -hmm. Why is he going to university that would have those sort of dining halls? I mean, what is... Was this part of your 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 papa's so, life experiences for you? I don't know. Is he trying to teach you a lesson? I mean, yes, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm a humble guy. I'm a humble guy. So yeah, when yeah. I went to the US, it's yeah. actually operative that you live on campus. You have to live first year on campus and you get roommates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. I found ways to make my life easier because I'm not going to live full time on campus. I don't know what's... I would get hotels most of the time and break up the, the stay, but I was humble. So I just went with it. I'm not going to, sometimes I just, I am a very astute and affluent person, but I also need to be, I need to be, I, I went to America to study because, um, I need, I need a good education. And the truth is that yeah. Americans have good educations and mm. uh, I went on the American journey, so I wanted to be respectful of trying to at least understand the culture. So that's why. Did, did you I understand actually... the culture? Did you understand? Yes. Did, did, did... yes. You did. And I came back uh, telling myself I never want to engage with an American because they'll discover. <laughs> oh, so, God. Uh, I, did, I didn't know. I had a taste. I had a really, really nice taste. And I, mean, uh, would you, I thought. Would, do you think. I mean, look, obviously, me and Jesse, yeah. see, we're, we're both Europeans. Um, I mean, are you, you're kind of, are you saying you're kind of like the voice for, for Europeans? Um, I mean, you, I'm, I mean, I'm you're an ambassador. Ah, yeah, I think that's a good one. Uh, so let, let's talk like about ambassador. your love life a little bit, because you, I do see sometimes you're with your girl, but I also see with other girls, maybe even harem, maybe, I don't know, like you have a main girl. Well, what's the situation? I do have a girlfriend oh. Uh, oh, that I respect. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, of course. And um, I will not say her name. I'll tell her which country. She's from Turkey. Yeah. Oh. So a, okay. Um, Pretty famous. Yeah. Or beautiful. So I mean, she. Sorry. Is she beautiful? Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Mm. Um, but again, yeah, come to a respected family like mine, so I can't give that much information. Yeah, about who she is, um, and and, but, and yeah. I, I mean, is she? I spent my time with model and my time with uh, a bunch. I've, I've, I'm a mature guy, you know. Yeah. Now yeah. this time, I've I've had fun to be a bit more serious. Okay, and in my in my family, we take uh, being with us. Uh, the, your partner needs to be uh, from a certain family, certain class. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's why I'm I'm going down this route because uh, I don't want to. Not gonna be messing around with models for my whole, for my whole life. I have to I mean, be never, respectful. Respectful. Never say all. never, though. Hey, <laughs> never say never. Never say never. I agree. I agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, so she uh, likes because I mean, she met you before you became famous. So she likes That's you true. being a public figure now. She still courts you. She definitely does not like that. But no. uh, again, you can't have everything perfect about who we're with. Yeah, uh, because um, yeah, I get a lot of DMs. So oh. I mean, look, you don't so, have to. You don't have to say, but anyone that we might have, we might have heard of. Oh, definitely a, a lot of um, a lot of famous people I have interactions oh, with. Right. Um, I don't even know what I'm li at liberty to to yeah. say. Yeah. You probably um, should take legal advice on this sort of stuff anyway. Um, <laughs> yes. I did not get the legal contract yeah, on yeah, what yeah. I'm allowed to say. Not. It's fair enough. It's fair enough. Well, what's next for uh, for Louis? What 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 are you? Uh, like now you got back to Europe. Mm -hmm. um, you're you're. Um, what what are you planning on next? Are you gonna continue studying? So I'm gonna go live in New York. <laughs> You're going back to America. I'm going back to America. Yeah. Um, New York. Why and, did you choose New yeah, York? No way. I can wait. I, are you? You got to go back to New York. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to go to did, New York. Do you think what you said is maybe some unfinished business? <laughs> there is a lot of business to do in New York, actually. Yeah. Um, both personal business and business business. I'm actually doing a bunch of different startups. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, I don't like the U.S., but if there's one place I will live, is in New York because um, you can have the luxury lifestyle that I I, I need to have when well, I'm in New Europe. Of course, yeah. Who's this thing? It's expensive. If you live in New it's, York, uh, are you talking about in Brooklyn or? I think we both know that. <laughs> it's not for you, no, Brooklyn. I'm talking about, like you said, the Upper West Side, the Upper East Side, yeah. uh, oh, those are the spots that I, I'm going to be moving in in August. Yeah. We'll see. I'm going to oh, be leaving. I mean, you can get it. I, let, buy, I'm waiting for my papa to buy me an apartment, <laughs> but it's not easy. Everything's. I also have to push him a lot because the prices are expensive for these little apartments. Yeah. Starting what, prices. What you are just like a small two, three bedroom apartment or something like that. And I don't settle for small apartments. <laughs> no. You know oh, that. Wow, that's a challenge in New York City, huh? Yeah. Uh, I want uh, at least I want to have a guest room. I want to um, just... have a be higher than the fortieth floor to see it, have a nice view. I want uh, the good amount of sunlight inside, so a lot of so a lot of things that well, need I, to take I think the box. Your, your father should probably, you know, help you out here. I mean, you you have is a graduation present, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, you 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 stuck there. That's, that's you've it. stuck there. You've you've done a lot of that's... hard work in arguably an atmosphere that you are uncomfortable with, and yeah. you're stuck with it. Yes, I have a a great deter determination mm -hmm. and perseverance. And like I say, I'm a humble guy because uh, I could have gone back to Europe, but I stick yeah. with it. And uh, I'm representing my family, you know, my generational, I have generations in my family. I'm the one going and conquering do America. Do you have brothers or America. sisters? You I know? do. And I how, do. How, how are they? I mean, are they, are they? You guys seen that I have a, a twin oh, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw it. Yeah. yeah, I have a twin brother. I have a sister also. In London, so yeah, are they, are they proud of what you? I mean, I, I, have they got the same um, unique temperament that you have? Or no, Louis is the most unique out yeah, of all of them. Obviously, yeah, no. um, Louis is. Wow. What's funny though is that uh, my brother, because we look exactly we're identical yeah. twins, is that he gets a lot of people coming up to him also because they think. I mean, oh, no, I mean, there's there's no no competition between you both, no, nothing like that. No, because we we both know that I was win, so <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, where um, where can people uh, find and follow you now? You're going back to New York City because we're going to expect a lot more storytelling from you. Um, you know, you you got you got two fans here that are looking forward to that. Uh, I think you're misunderstood. And possibly a bunch of haters listening right now. Well, I just think he's misunderstood sometimes. I, th I think so too. I think that like he's trying to like also educate people a lot. Yeah, exactly. In in your own unique yeah. way, everyone underestimates underestimates and misunderstands Louis. You know, I go to America. People just want to see the the parts of me getting pissed. But I I teach people a lot of things, valuable lessons. Yeah. Exactly. Just because if I get you... mad at someone doesn't mean that uh, I'm giving well, you... them a lesson. You're and making America great again, in a sense, or yeah, trying. I would yeah. like to say that, but obviously we know that uh, that's a coined by Donald Trump. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 also a dear friends, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you should, I can imagine you probably. Uh, I've probably... actually met him. Yeah. Oh, you have met him. Yeah. I have. I, I have a photo to also show you. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Right. Because I, people don't believe me, but I have met him in the embassy in in Brussels. Oh really? Yeah. Me, if I could find it, give me a sec because I need to scroll to a bunch of photos. You probably have a folder there of famous people that you, you know. I and... should, I should. I'm not as organized. I, I should have. That's a good, a good he point. Floor of all the women. On my to do list. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's a um, terrorist, Louis. Yeah. <laughs> it's a while ago, so I need. I need... Yeah, well, let's give this back on the podcast so that people are not waiting. Don't worry, we we can um we can uh, if you send it we can edit it in. We can later. we can throw it up. So well, we can it I'll, I'll send it over. I'll send, you it. send it over and we put it right here. Uh, nice. Where can people um uh, find you, my friend? Uh, where can people keep following you? Is it is it at European Instagram? Uh, Instagram, uh, the European kid. Yeah. All right. To be called That's... the European ambassador, actually. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're making some big moves. 
Yes, yes. I mean, not I mean politics. Are you still going to be the European kid? I mean, we're talking about, you know, you've graduated now. There's going to That's be a, a certain element European of... European guy. European guy. You're going to be a certain element of, that you've grown up, you know, and um, um, maybe, you know, for advice from an older man, maybe some of the things... Older are, man? I'm, yeah. an older, I'm an older oh, gentleman. No. But maybe some advice that maybe, I don't know, maybe that coming in his later years, you're going to be a little bit, maybe calmer with some of the people that you speak to, or is it, is it, or is it just going to be um, the same European kid that we, uh, we've grown to love? I mean, I hope so. I hope I can remain as calm as I want to, but uh, unfortunately yeah. that's usually not the case in America. I need to, uh, yeah. I need to be myself. I'm not going to hide uh, just because America is a sensitive place. I will not, uh, shy down to uh teach a lesson sure them. why should you why should you yes why so you? no exactly well oh, i mean, thank you i've had yeah. lightning time i think uh <laughs> yeah you're, you're, you know you're a, you're a, you're extremely um unique you unique young man yeah certainly certainly and i i you know teaching a lot of valuable lessons and then uh i i think that uh you know i think i'm I, i've not much uh, like a lot of gratitude for that because, uh, you know, looking through, through the lens of what you're seeing, I think a lot of people can actually wake up. So that's really good. Yeah. Um, so Louis, thank you so much. Say hello to Papa. And um, yeah, we uh, we keep in touch. And when we're in New York, we'll see you. We're going to have a cappuccino. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm down, guys. I'm um, down. Cappuccino, oat milk, uh, coconut milk. How how do we do that? And I think maybe you could recommend some some realtors to him. So oh, yeah, ones that might respect you. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta work with the best for sure, and and uh, we gotta have good coffee. Uh, like almond milk or coconut milk, Louis? <laughs> I'm more of an almond milk guy. Okay, there we go. Yeah. The almonds are, are made in a certain part of California. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. well, that's yeah, yeah. that's a given. That's a given. Yeah. Right. That's a well, good thing. Most Americans, it's not. I didn't realize it's not. Yeah, it's crazy. No, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean, chemicals. Yeah, it's crazy. Those plastic capsules is terrible. Good to say. All right. Thanks, Louis. I appreciate you. Of course, guys. It's my pleasure. Huh? Oh, no. You've been listening to Life Talk with Jesse Meester. Thanks for listening to the show. We hope you've gotten some useful and practical information. Make sure to like, rate, and review. And we'll be back soon. And if you want to be the next guest, please apply by filling in the contact form on jessemeester.com or DM Meester Store on Instagram. Till next time, keep sharing love and life.